Rest in peace, Don Gaspari. Don't you know it's against the law to walk on the highway? No, I didn't know. Let's see your identification. Just out of school, huh? Where are you headed? On vacation. Come on, hop in. Mind telling us what you're in for? I don't have to answer that, do I? You think you're pretty smart, don't you? I'm learning. From the sound, it was the little cars. We're not losing much. Yeah, for you, they're all little cars. <laughs> <laughs> and what about me, sweetheart? Huh? Aren't I worth more than money? Tell me. Aren't I worth more? <laughs> Coming, I'll be right down. Conchetta, hey, look who's here. Thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. Just see you stay out of school. Rico! <laughs> Did you, Rico? No, 
A year off for good behavior. Oh. Hey, you change. You look a lot stronger, sport. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Coming. Come on. I don't have all day. <laughs> and mother? Mom is very old. She's lost all she had. She only thinks of vengeance. But we're still young, and I want to live in peace, Rico. What's stopping you? Come. Do you like the car we just bought? Come. We want to convert the house into a motel. Very good. Stay here with us, Rico. You get a new life. It's the best thing you can do. I'll think about it. Rico. Oh, son. My son. You're back with me at last. Everything comes when you know how to wait. Like you come? Do you? Plus ten million lira. Whose? Your contributors? If you're not happy with my method of working, there's no objection to your accepting my gifts. I have no will. Yeah. You're lacking many things. When I was your age, I wasn't driving a convertible. I didn't have money to spend in clubs. Father, please, not again. I know what you were doing at my age. Yeah, I fought. I had to defend myself. I didn't let people crush me. And for that, you need strong nerves and a strong heart. And I had them. I proved it. But you, you haven't proved anything. I also have a body. The organization. This factory. Everything I have, I fought for. Twenty years without rest, without pity. Now someone comes who wants to eat the cake. Contributors. He threatens my friends. Now tell me, how would you handle it? I don't know. I never liked your style. At times, I think I made a mistake with you. Everything has been too easy for you. You've never been faced with the necessity of... Of killing? Why not? In this world, the moment always comes we must kill or die. And you're still alive. I've never been weak myself. I guess that's why I don't like weak men. Sometimes I ask myself, what kind of a man are you? You'll never know. Yes? My son has just gone out. Advise the boys. Right away, Chief. All right, look out. Okay. You too. Okay, get ready. Hey, Rico, give me a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rico, what's the matter? <laughs> hey, you weak in the knees? <laughs> That's why he's weak in the knees. <laughs> now, why don't you guys leave me? I've been set up. The chief is worried about you. Not really. 
You see, he knows you won't hurt me. But I can hurt you. I have the advantage. <laughs> They destroyed his head, you know. I barely could recognize him. Now I am not able to remember him as he was before that, but as he was there, in the morgue. On top of that, they robbed us of everything. When I first went in, the thought of revenge wouldn't even let me sleep. But two years is a long time, Mother. I grew tired. And now? And now? What do you plan to do? I don't know. <laughs> Foolish daughter who can't think of anything else but playing with her man. Nothing more. And you, staring off into the mountains and saying you don't know what you're going to do. At your age, your father would have known exactly what to do. I know what you want. Yes. But it is you, Rico, who must want it. Your father defended himself with this before he was killed. I'm sure you'll know how to use it. Keep it. If I do it, I'll do it my own way. Bang, 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 bang. So you're going to kill everybody. It's not important that you go back to jail. I don't understand her. Sometimes I think she's crazy. Come on now. She's had a rough time. One night she had everything, the, the next morning nothing. Yes, true, and also a life of fear. Remember how we lived before, always afraid, and for what? And finally what had to happen took place. You know what happened to Rosa? No. Not her, the friends of Papa. I suppose they're still living in Torino. And no one helped her? No, after you tried to kill Don Vito. They disappeared as though we had the plague. Great friends. In the beginning, I thought the same as you, not now. Now we live quietly and in peace. And you got to think the same way. I do. Hmm. I just want to see their faces when they see me. That's what you call vengeance. No, just a little fun. Rico, I'm expecting a child. Only one? The way you keep trying, I was expecting you to have a dozen. for Giuseppe Calogero. They haven't lived here for a long time. They left one night, all of a sudden. And the next day, the police came looking for them. Didn't they leave a new address? That kind never leave an address, you know. They just disappear.
Rico, when did you get out? Two days ago. I'm looking for Rosa. Rosa. It would be better if you forgot her. Why? Since your father died, everything's changed. You were his best friend. I was always loyal. You knew that. And now your loyalty is to the new boss. Why not? I don't want any more complications. And anyone facing Don Vito has them. If you're thinking of squaring accounts with Don Vito, take care of Rico. He's a son of a bitch. He was born that way. Others work for it. Don't you worry. Just keep sweating. I only got 9,500. <laughs> That's all right, thanks. here. I can't remember them all. Her name's Rosa. She's tall, dark. Come back tonight. Maybe some wheels on something. Yeah. Thanks. Enough. Hold on, Vito. Business isn't so good. You have a nice place here. Try and keep it so. Why did you offer to give him a drink at this time? He's looking for a girl who worked here a couple of years ago. Her name is Rosa. We are not an information agency. Get out. Sorry, boy. This bill is counterfeit. Counterfeit? Uh -huh. Get the hell out of here. I'll call the police. I wouldn't, Mr. Chikala. We could all tell the police things. Hey, just a minute. Who told you my name? A guy called Gasparia Versi. Remember him? He was my father. I was out of the circle then. You're never out of the circle. Thank you. Hello, golden ass. How dare you? This morning I changed 10,000 lira for you. I think you're mistaken. No, sure. I still owe you 500 lira. Thank you. Now we're even. doing here? This is a private house. We 
Would you mind getting that jalopy out of here? This isn't a parking lot, you know. Who are you? <laughs> I should be asking that question, shouldn't I? But I don't care, so just get out. Get out! Who are you talking to? What's he want? Calogero, the old fox. Don't you know your old friends? Rico! Hey, come in! Rico! Rico, my boy. <laughs> Maybe I should call you the old gray fox. At my age, what do you want? The years pass. <laughs> and Rosa? She's with Don Vito. I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> When I found out the bill was counterfeit, I knew you had to be around. Yeah. I only print a couple of bills a day, just to keep going. And false documents? You also work for Don Vito. I couldn't avoid it. He inherited your father's organization, including me. You have change for 10,000 lira? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were a friend of my uncle. Your niece is very smart. Where did you keep her? I'm from Milan. My father was killed a month ago. RCA's men. We have something in common. Did you go far? Perhaps as far as Rosa. Don't ever mention her in front of me. Why not? You should be proud. She shares the best bed in Torino. I'm sorry, old friend. You're here to settle accounts, isn't that right? Seems that's what everyone wants. Could be kind of interesting. Except that you're the wrong type. One of those a cowboy my father gave him a final touch. It wasn't necessary. I want him. Ah, what importance who did it? It was Don Vito who gave the order. For ambition. He wanted to be the boss. I only saw him once. No. He looked like he had class. He kills your father. Steals a factory. Takes your girl away. Gets you sent to jail for two years. And now you say he has class. Isn't there any blood in your veins? Doesn't it boil? Don't you have any yeah. wish? To... Yeah, I wish to lie in the sun and make love with your daughter. Or your niece. For me, you're still too blonde. I've got to see Rosa. You're not in our class. First, you've got to crush Don Vito. Crush him. If that's what you really want, I can get you into Don Vito's fortress. But getting out's going to be your problem. Are you game? Have you thought about what we were talking last night? You haven't answered me. That's an answer. It means not yet. Why? Because I like to be surrounded by beautiful things. And you're one of them. You can get any girl. Why me? You know why men like power. It's because once they've got it, they're hated. And love mixed with hate tastes better. Kiss me. Kiss me.
Jerry goes. Now the supermarket van won't be far. Did you love your father very much? No. I didn't either. He was a rat. How about yours? Yeah, I guess so. And you're going to avenge him for that? I swore in his grave and my mother... You know how old people are. Are you still very hung up on Rosa? I don't know. There it is. Hurry. Ciao. Ciao. I didn't touch anything. Oh, just your being here is enough. Would you close the hood, please? Thanks. You knew around here? Yeah. Thanks for helping me. What's up? Now Vittorio needs a new assistant to help unload the van. Sure. Help yourself.
What are you doing here? Why have you come back? If you found me, you know all. So what? What else do you want? Curiosity. I wanted to see if you were sleeping well. Better than with you. A thousand times better. <laughs> why, Rosa? Why with Vito? And why not? All of you are rubbish. My father, yours all. At least he knows how to live. I spent two years thinking of you. Got to go away. Come with me. What for? I'm where I must be. Rico, I also, I have also missed you. Who finished off my father? I don't know. Find out for me. I can come back if you want me to. Rosa, Rosa, Miss Rosa, I'm all right. Open the door. They'll kill you if they catch you. And you? Open the door. Open the door. Is there another way out? There, the window. Shout for help. With you, I'd never shout. I'm going to have to hurt you. Shout loud. Don't let him get away. enough. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> How long was she in Rosa's room? Not long. When we got in, he jumped out the window. She must have resisted and he hit her. Six armed men and two dogs. For what? What's all that good for? We don't see how he could have got in. Perhaps a. And get out. How did he get out? Don't you know by now I can't stand soap? Or men that sweat? 
You know how they make this caustic soda, a few drops of perfume, and animal fat. One more mistake, I turn you into this. The two of you. What did he look like? Did you see him? Yeah, from the back. Everything happened so quick. He was blonde, long hair. How many young men are there in town that look like that? Hmm? Oh, get out. You heard? Contract another two men. I'm waiting for Pepe. He'll be out this week. Does it hurt? No, it's over. Who was he? I don't know. You didn't know him? No. A thief, perhaps. Perhaps. That makes 15 places. Mm, it's certainly good business for Don Vito. Very good. How many times do I have to tell you I'm hungry? You want a really great dinner? I know a fantastic place, only the best wines. I don't know where you're going to take me, but I'm going to say yes anyway. Yes, 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 yes. know how to swim? I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I've never seen so much money in my life. <laughs> what are we going to do with it? Aren't you... Aren't you gonna get dressed? <laughs> Why does it bother you?
Why are you so quiet? I have nothing to say. Are you thinking about Rosa? No. Me then? No. Then what are you thinking about? I just wish all of this was over. I don't. I'm having a lot of fun. Tell me, what are we going to do with all this money? Spend it. I sure as hell don't want to fall in love with you. That's easy. Don't. And what if I can't help it? Let's hope you can. It's disgraceful. What have you done? I suspected it. You're crazy. Crazy. Can't I leave you alone for a single minute? Why? Why have you done it? What's the matter with you, Uncle? This money is Don Vito's monthly collection. And this is a list of all of his contributors. And you leave it in my house and don't even think of hiding it. <laughs> laugh. Laugh. I'm just recovering what's mine. This money is more dangerous than the ones I make. And what in the hell is the matter with you? You want all the women in my family? First it's my daughter, and then my niece. It's a mania. Then you only notice that? You saw nothing else? We, we, we had to stop. She was in the middle of the bridge. We only just got out of the car. And we were thrown in the water. We must have been attacked, attacked by three or four men. Have you learned anything? No. All the contributors are too scared. They have a reason. You think it was one of them? No. If we could find the man who hit Rosa, we could find out many things. What do we do with them? As usual. Are you feeling better? Someone is trying to bother me. They beat you, attack my collectors. It's a shame you can't remember who it was. I didn't see it. Of course. You were so frightened. Come in. They're all outside. Come in. From now on, Tony will look after you. Your trusted man? The one who kills for you? What have you been trying to find out these last few days? Hmm? I trust only myself. Don't forget that. Hello, Pepe. Good Glad to have you back with us. Thank you, Don Vito, for your help. I appreciate your coming. The situation is very troublesome and affects us all equally. But we're like members of the same club, and all clubs depend on their members' dues. You pay a small amount each month, and in return, you get peace and protection. That's why it hurts. You can be sure it wasn't one of us. That's true. Why should we look for problems? Unfortunately, our club can't get along without your dues. There are expenses, salaries, taxes, and so forth. The dues will have to be collected again. 
But we can't pay more. We give you as much money as we can every month. Plus a 20% surcharge. Oh. Uh, Don Vito, pardon. I think, I'm not too sure. But I think I know the responsible party. Who? Gasparri Aversi's son. But he's in jail. He still has one more year to go. No, Don Vito. He's out. He came to see me. He asked about Rosa, but I said nothing. Yes, I remember. He attacked me once. And he had long blonde hair. Enough. You wanted to see me? You're still a young man, Rico. If I were in your skin, I'd go as far away as possible. Fortunately, you're not in my skin. Nor I in yours. See, Carla's given your name. <laughs> That's enough. I could tell you something of interest to. For example, who gave him the coup de grace? Who blew his brains out? Who? I don't, I don't know. I swear to you, I don't know. Then what do you know? Vito is preparing a job with Marciès and Sedano. It's the go-between. Sedano? Yes. Where does that door go? The staircase at the garage. Vito has been exporting soap for years. Each cake costs $3,000. Drugs. That's why he needs the factory. But you see, at this time, at this moment, the Marseillais has offered another kind of goods. Diamonds. In all, 500 million lira. Yes, that's right. We'll leave it at the night. We couldn't trust him. You plan to kill me, too? Don't forget, I was your father's friend when he was a boss. And we did good business together. And I could with his son also. Aren't you a very good friend of an old artist? Five hundred. 
hundred million. <laughs> I've issued five hundred million. What do you think? At this moment, I feel like I am the Bank of Italy. <laughs> Bye now. Vito knows I'm here. And that you're looking for him. Vexing a lion with a pole. That's what you're doing. I want to make him mad enough to attack me. Why? Then I'll have to kill him. Hey, I'm going to come with you. No, you stay here. Come on now. Don Vito is yours, but the Marcies is mine. No, you stay outside of the circle. That's what you think. I have just as much right to have some fun. And I come and go as I please. Don't think it's a game. And don't get false illusions. I'll go alone. Yes, Rosa. Bring me a whiskey. The data set my Via Rosa tonight at 10. You go in different cars and come back the same way. I want no mistakes. The Massier has my full trust. Maybe you won't take it. But we thought that. I'd rather luck decided it. Not even this bag is worth dying for. Don't forget it. We have a date in the Villa Rosa, but first we're going to the chalet to see Marseillaise. Villa Rosa? Does that recall something? on his way. Hello, Cyrano. If I'm not wrong, the date was tonight at 10, Villa Rosa. Some problems have arisen. Problems. We have to make the shipment before the date it's due. Cyrano, does that mean the exchange still goes? Mm -hmm. Don Vito sends his best regards to you. Do you want a drink? 
No, thanks. We're in a hurry. Hmm. I see. You. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, that's a short time. Uh, intelligent look. Young. Strong. Don Vito knows how to select his men. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to drink? No. Why don't you count the money? No. It would be an offense to Don Vito. I know he's a serious man. Twenty years in business, and we've never had a problem. I'll bring you the diamonds. We'll be in Torino in two hours. We have a date first at the Via Rosa. Or what? There's 500 million lira waiting there. Authentic. Very good. You've been doing a little creative thinking on your own. Well, when one goes to a dance, one dances. Or no. I want to speak to Don Vito. Hey, Peppy, stop that, will you? My mother could play the harp, and she's still trying to teach me. I said stop it. Here they are. Him. Who's he? One of Marseille's men. The Marseillais is supposed to come in person. Where is he? He won't. He's changed his plans, and now it isn't necessary to keep waiting. Why? What a pity. You'll never know, will you? Very nice. You know how to surprise them. But was that really necessary? Who knows? Maybe. My coming here wasn't really necessary either, you know. I would have settled for the diamonds alone. <laughs> but here I am. I'll never be able to spend so much money. Don't I count? If I shared with you, it wouldn't be necessary for me to have to kill you. But that's precisely what I'm going to do. Wouldn't you like to know who killed your father? What a pity. You will never live to know. Don't move, kid. I can blow your head off, too. Now turn around and don't try anything foolish. No, you can't see me, but I can see you. Cyrano never was too intelligent. The counterfeit money gave away his game. I called Don Vito. And he was very amused at the ingenuity. But he gave me exact instructions. Hello, Vito. How did it go, Marcier? Okay, but there are three corpses here in your nice chalet. 
But I have a young man here, tall, blonde. What do you want me to do with him? Ask his name. Rico Aversi. Tell him I don't like that name. And kill him. What you're asking for is a big favor. A delicate job. What would be your price if I asked you for it? Agreed, friend. Sometimes Don Vito is very generous. Turn around. Sorry, kid. My friend doesn't like your name. But he also said I should kill you. Brings back a lot of bad memories. Couldn't we make... make some kind of a deal? <laughs> Another stupidity, I imagine. Okay, what kind of a deal do you have in mind? The diamonds for you? And half the money. For the other half, I'll take care of Don Vito. Ah, not bad. But you're only a beginner. If you face Vito, you wouldn't have a chance. Oh! so close and I couldn't even shoot him. I was so scared. <laughs> for Genoa? Yes. Have it delivered to the usual customs agent. I can't sleep. Mind if I stay with you a little while? Vito will be late coming. He's very busy sending his soap to the USA. Business nights are lonely nights for me. To our loneliness. Shall we dance?
You have to make up your mind to act on your own. You're only a robot. A puppet. They press a button and you fire. Sometimes it's good to think on your own. How many men have you killed? I know you killed Gaspari. Am I right? Please, Rosa, leave me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm bored. I'd like to dance. I want you to tell me a lot of things. It's been so long since I was with a young man. Rico, return it all. The diamonds. Money. Then it lets you live in peace. Conchetta and Jeppo want to build a motel. We'll help them. All right. Wait. Factory now. Yes, he will. According to Chikala, this is when he does his real business. Uh, 
Hello? A guy wants to talk to you. Says his name is Rico Vepsi. Hello, Vito. I seem to have both the diamonds and your money. Today isn't my lucky day. But you have to know how to lose. I also have something that belongs to you. Although it isn't worth as much as what you have. Do you want to say goodbye to her? Wait, Vito. I want to make a deal. Rosa? Rosa? The man who finished your father was Vito. He did it! Rosa? Rosa! Come on, let's go. son of Gaspare Aversi is giving me problems. Where is he? I don't know. But I don't want to go to him. I want him to come to me. We'll make him come out of his little nest. Recognize your sister? Is 
Is this your mother? And your brother-in-law. Are you absolutely sure? Come, I want to ask a few questions. Do you suspect anybody? I don't suppose you have any idea. No. Who could have done it? Weren't robbed. They came with the sole purpose deliberately to kill. Could be they were looking for you. Cigarette? No, thanks. Two years ago, your father was gunned down in cold blood. Now the rest of your family. Why? That's the way it goes. Sit down. Your mother couldn't defend herself. She was an invalid. But yet someone shot her. Wouldn't you like to see that they were caught? Forgiveness is divine. They teach you that at the school. Hmm. I've known all kinds and types. Those who say much, some not so much. And those who don't say anything. Those are always the ones who know more. Are you also going to tell me you don't know Don Vito? I've forgotten him. Don't try to fight your own war. Help me, and we'll see that you don't spend the rest of your life in jail. You don't like Don Vito? That's your problem. All right. You're free to go. You probably won't answer my questions the next time, either. You'll be laid out, ice cold here in the morgue. Then I'll see you soon. Don't go. Please don't go, Rico. It's suicide to do what you're planning. Don't you realize it's just what they want from you? Not to think, to act blindly. Yeah. Well, they got it. What am I going to do without you? Please don't go. Please, I beg you. What is it?
does it mean? That Rosa is dead. Rosa, always liked to smell good. And I think that she never was as perfumed as she is now. Tell Rico I'm returning what was his, and that I expect him to do the same. I am at the factory. Rico!
Jacob! 